welcome back to Critical Flick. Today we're going to be reviewing the live action Mulan. So as you know, this movie ended up premiering on Disney Plus because it was supposed to come out in theaters, kept getting pushed during the pandemic, and it ended up going on there for $30. And I have to say, I don't know if it's really worth $30. Yeah, I think it depends on how many people be watching in your household. I think if you're just one person, it's not necessarily worth it. But if you have like three or four people, maybe it'd be worth it to check it out. But I don't know. It's just a little disappointing for me. Yeah, I honestly, it being compared to the original is the really hard part for me. If it was by itself, I didn't know about Mulan. Maybe I think it'd be a little bit cooler. Yeah, I was watching it. I was like, this is a pretty well-crafted like action film that mm -hmm. has some pretty solid messaging. But in my mind, I'm constantly comparing it to the original animated film. And it just doesn't have the levels that that film has to, it, in my opinion. The music of that film is mm -hmm. fantastic. The messaging is well done. The story makes a little more sense, in my opinion. And it's just far more satisfying as a film. I know this is dealing more with the original source material and it doesn't really, it's not as Disney-ified as that film. But I don't know. Yeah, it's really weird. There's some elements, which there are going to be spoilers in this review because yeah. we feel like we have to talk about some things. Like, obviously, Mushu and Cricket, they're not in this one. They're just yeah. not even well, a real thing. There's a Cricket. It's just a guy. Yeah. There's a guy who's like... And that's one thing I actually said that I enjoyed about the movie is some of the friendships that are built in this story, some of the supporting characters. I think there's some heartfelt moments to be had in it, specifically between Mulan and her father. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It just... It lacks the, like something like the original film had there's such like a huge momentum in the original one where she's going to choose to go fight for her family she's looking at the armor she cuts her hair it's like very like significant moment in that movie and that is just lost in here the first 30 minutes or so i honestly didn't care about mulan's character i didn't like i know who she was because i saw the original but her as a character in this movie, she wasn't really well written. Yeah, it's kind of interesting when you're watching it because she has uh, like powers in mm -hmm. this film. It's called the She, right? Yes. Correct. And basically, she has what is equivalent to like the Force in Star Wars. I know it is, you know, Chinese folklore, but that's the simplest way that I can explain it. So she doesn't even really need to train. There's these long training montages that were very significant mm -hmm. in the animated film. You know, make a man out of you. Everything going on with that that you think of the original film. They have those scenes, but they don't feel like they have nearly as much impact other than just building some relationships between the characters. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I'm, I'm, part of me doesn't like that, and part of me does like that. They kind of just made it more, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, fantastical. Like, the way that her powers are and everything with that. Uh, part of me hates it because I want to compare it to the original Mulan. Part of me enjoys the new, fresh take on it. I'm just conflicted about it. I did like the score in this film because they had remnants of the older songs from the you yeah. know animated film. I think that brought a little like touch of that classic movie into the live action. But again, to me, the music was just somewhat missing. But I, I really did like the score. And that's another thing where I'm struggling trying to compare the two. And I shouldn't or maybe I should because it is a live action remake. But the music in this film is well crafted. It just doesn't have like the iconic stuff from the original film you do get the reflection you get that in there and it has some really impactful moments when they're using mu music from the animated film i don't know it's just it's just weird thinking of it as a live remake instead of something completely detached from it. i also found the ending of this film a little anticlimactic compared yeah. to the animated one like i said there's spoilers the animated one takes place at night there's fireworks there's all this yeah. atmosphere Chinese culture like all around and this one it's just during the day and the city just looks empty and Mulan's just running across rooftops. Yeah that was one of my problems with the movie is it has some really well crafted sets and mm -hmm. it has some really solid cinematography but there's so many times where these huge humongous sets feel empty mm -hmm. where there's a ton of green screen that kind of offsets this really well done yeah. sets. It's like when I saw the Aladdin remake I thought the sets were really well done but when they just try to throw in the visual effects it doesn't hold up as much. No. And in this movie, there's a pretty solid amount of visual effects. I mean, a lot more than I thought there were going to be. I thought it was going to be more like wire work, something along the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, mm -hmm. along those lines. Mm -hmm. But it felt more like you're trying to make a modern blockbuster in the same vein as that. And I just, it, it just hit or miss with me. There are some new characters, like I said, that are introduced in this film compared to the original one. And there's a villain who's a female villain who's kind of being under the thumb of the leader of the Huns or the invaders from the north mm -hmm. in this one. And I thought that was a pretty interesting character to introduce, kind of the foil to Mulan, kind of mm -hmm. the opposite end of the spectrum. 
And then it kind of has an anticlimactic ending. You feel like it's really building towards something. And then it just kind of ends like that. Mm -hmm. And I was just confused with some of the story and writing choices. This movie is two hours long. So it was weird to have that one plot point be rushed really quickly. Mm -hmm. It felt like it was going to be important. And it wasn't really that important. No. So that was weird to me. But I do think the main, the villains in general looked really good. I think the costuming in general yeah, was they did. really phenomenal in this movie. Yeah, they definitely had a very menacing look to them and everything. And you yeah. were, I would be scared of them. Yeah, I really did enjoy the costume. There were plenty of times where I would see costuming, particularly with that villain character. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, man, they really went after it when it comes to production of mm -hmm. this film. So I'd give this movie a 5.5 out of 10. I enjoyed it. I just really enjoyed the original more. Um, I thought there were some really cool action scenes, the set pieces, the costuming, very well done. The score was pretty good, but it just lost like that whole charm and whimsical factor of the original one where Mulan, it's like this very like, woman empowerment moment to going you know fight with the men and everything yeah, it loses some of that it it has enough there that you get some really positive messaging obviously mm -hmm. but i don't know just missing something yeah and i can't really put my finger on it exactly so if i were to rate this movie i would actually give it a six and a half out of ten it was better than i thought it was going to be i don't have as much as a connection to the original mulan film i do like it i think it's fine i would probably give that like a seven and a half or maybe maybe an eight out of ten this isn't up to the level of that I do think some of the action in this film was really well done. I think the costuming was phenomenal. The production's a little hit or miss. The acting had some solid moments. Just, you know, something about it just felt like it was missing for me. So this sums up our review of the live action Mulan. Let us know down in the comments if you have checked this out. Are you going to be spending the $30 for this film? Um, how does it live up to the original? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And see you next Bye. time. Bye.